Hello and welcome to the magical world of Harry Hailstorm. These are the heartwarming and humorous adventures of little Harry Hailstorm, whose mum, Henrietta Woodmouse, named him after the stormy, snowy weather the day he and his brothers and sisters were born. As Harry leaves the family nest and roams the gardens of Apple Tree Cottage, he gets into all sorts of scrapes, along with his friends, Melissa Lippy, the frog, Malcolm the mouse, Norman the newt, and Denzel the fly. But because Harry's so handsome, no matter what kind of trouble he gets into, he'll always come out smiling. Now, let me tell you about the author, Michelle de Serres. She is always writing, or thinking, or dreaming and writing about Harry Hailstorm and his friends. She lives far away in the mountains, far from cars, far from trains, far from planes and busy people, and the hustle and bustle of everyday life in a beautiful house, hidden deep in a forest, teeming with deer, wild boar, and lots and lots of other creatures, some of them magical. She is sure she has seen a dragon or two near her house, but you have to be careful with dragons, as we all know. In the hot summer months, or when the snow arrives, she can be found somewhere deep in the forest, dreaming about what Harry Hailstorm is going to get up to next. In Book One, The Iced Cherry Bun, we meet our hero, Harry Hailstorm, the very day he's born, in the middle of a terrible snowy storm. Then, once he's grown up enough to roam on his own, Harry runs off with Melissa Lippy the frog to visit Norman the newt and help him dig a muddy tunnel. This makes Harry very hungry and a lovely iced cherry bun solves his problems. In book two, The Frog Ballet, summer has come to the garden. The flowers are blooming with pride and Harry, Melissa and Norman have work to do organising the Apple Cottage Garden Party. Melissa is in charge of the ballet and looking for performers when some of her ballerinas get ill. Where will she find them? In book three, The Pudding Pinchers, it's a frosty Christmas morning and Harry can't wait to pick up his chums, Norman the Newt and Malcolm the Mole and take them round for a slap-up lunch at his mum's. But trouble is in store when the Christmas pudding gets pinched. In book four, The Fly Who Couldn't Fly, Malcolm the Mole comes calling to ask Harry to come and help a very scared young Denzel the Fly take his first flight. Then, in book five, Harry goes sailing. It's the height of summer and Harry's feeling the heat. So he scurries off to the frog pond, where he hops with Melissa the frog into the garden gnome's little sailing boat, and they have a very big adventure. I hope you enjoy the magical book adventures of Harry and his friends. With many more stories to come, please let us know what you like the most by visiting our website or Facebook page. <laughs>